Hi there, this is Anub. Today we are going to talk about two topics on Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. One is the exciting enhancements that Microsoft made with MDE onboarding process. Other topic which we are going to discuss is from now on the devices can be managed by MDE. You don't need to enroll into Intune to manage MDE policies, MDE baselines, all those security settings related policies. So those things can be managed via MDE. So these are basically to cater the devices which are not capable of Intune enrollment, etc, etc. So we will see all these details in this video. So don't skip it. Let's go ahead and check this out. So let's look into Microsoft Defender for Endpoint security settings. What are the new options or enhancements coming with Microsoft Defender for Endpoint security settings new architecture? There are some onboarding enhancements for non-Intune enrolled or non-Azure AD, hybrid Azure AD joint devices. You can create security settings policies in MD portal what are the differences between Intune managed and MDE managed devices in Microsoft Defender for endpoint policies and management context what is endpoint security settings so this is the new place where you can create the security settings for MDE this is what we are going to see in this video where in MDE portal you can create these security settings and when do you want to create security policies in MDE portal instead of Intune and what are the prerequisites etc etc we are going to discuss and if you are thinking about what are the security policies you need to set for a managed device then we have discussed that in a different video over here if you click on i button in YouTube you would be able to see that video so this is the new enhancements that Microsoft introduced for Defender for Endpoint and this is called security settings configuration now you can manage Linux servers, Windows 10, Windows 11, Mac OS devices using Microsoft Defender for Endpoint security setting configuration. You don't need to enroll into Intune for this or Configuration Manager for this. With MDE, you would be able to manage Defender policies for Windows Server, Linux servers, Windows 10 devices and Windows 11 devices along with Mac OS devices. Let's check the very high level architecture diagram shared by Microsoft. The important message over here at the moment is that once the device is MDE onboarded, for the device onboarding to MDE, there is no requirement such as hybrid Azure AD join etc. with this architecture change. So the devices can directly onboard to MDE and once it will report to MEM, the device will report to MEM. MEM is nothing but Intune. The old name of Intune is MEM. So the device will report back to Intune and then a synthetic registration will happen for this device record if the device is not Azure AD registered. Normally some of the devices like Windows servers or Linux servers are not Azure AD registered and not even Intune enrolled. So in that scenario what will happen is a synthetic registration will happen and a device record will be created in Azure AD for this particular device. So this is what explained over here. So once the synthetic device registration or a dummy device record has been created in Azure AD, then the device will be able to retrieve the policies from Intune enforced on the devices by Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. So who will enforce these policies which are coming from Intune using Azure AD groups? Enforcement will be done from Microsoft Defender, not from Intune. In Intune, you can create the policies or in Defender portal nowadays you can create the policies with the latest updates but it is the same thing whether you create the policies in Intune or MDE portal. While you target the policies you need to create a dynamic Azure AD group using a new attribute called management type equal to Microsoft sense. So there should be a new Azure AD group dynamic Azure AD group created to cater this new scenario in that dynamic Azure AD group you need to use the management type Microsoft sense you will get all these details in the description of the video so do check that out so once these devices are part of
of Azure AD group with Microsoft Sense management type. Then Intune will target policies to all these devices, but Intune won't enforce policies on to this devices. But enforcement will be done by Microsoft Defender for endpoint service. And again, all the policy results and status are sent back to Intune as you can see over here. So let's understand what are the prerequisites for MDE managed devices. When a device is managed by Intune, enrolled to Intune, the device does not process the policies for the Defender for Endpoint Security Settings configurations. What does that mean? If the device is managed by Intune, this is the Intune portal. If the device is managed by MDE as per Intune portal, then Intune policies won't get affected or enforced for these devices. Policy enforcement for this type of device will happen from MDE service, not from Intune. And if it is Intune managed device instead of MDE, if it was Intune, then the policy enforcement will be done by Intune. So that is what explained over here. When a device is managed by Intune, enrolled to Intune, the device does not process policies for Defender for Endpoint security setting configuration. When a device receives a policy, the Defender for Endpoint components on the device will enforce the policy and report the device back to Intune. Only for this particular scenario. If the device is managed by MDE, then enforcement will also done by MDE, but the status will be sent back to Intune as well. Device status will be available in Microsoft Intune as well as in Microsoft Defender portal. So these are some other prerequisites. When a supported device onboards to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, the device is surveyed for existing Microsoft Intune presence. During the onboarding process, it will check whether whether the device is already enrolled to Intune or not. Devices without Intune presence enable security settings management feature. So this is a new feature in MDE that is security settings management feature will get enabled only if the device is not enrolled to Intune. Policy retrieved from Microsoft Intune are en enforced on the device by Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. That is what we have discussed over here. This is for the new scenario where the devices are managed by MDE as you can see over here. Additional prerequisites are, are trying to give you more understanding of security settings feature enablement in Microsoft Defender. For MDE managed devices, the first and foremost thing a lot of people are excited about is removing the requirement of Azure AD join or hybrid Azure AD join for onboarding of Windows devices. So to use security settings management in Defender for Endpoint, it is not required to have these two things and hybrid as ready join this was blocker for many organizations to adopt to start MDE migration projects for devices that have not registered a synthetic device identity is created in Azure AD to enable the device to retrieve policies this is what we have discussed in the previous slide the synthetic registration will get removed but the device management will continue as it is without any impact so this is what we have discussed in the previous slide security set Settings management that is nothing but new feature in Microsoft Defender does not work on non persistent desktops, VDI or Azure Virtual Desktop, etc. Security settings management without Intune enrollment also supports the devices which are hybrid Azure AD join, but there are some prerequisites for that, as you can see over here. Now, let's check how to onboard these devices to MDE without using Intune. We have discussed about Intune onboarding if you want you can check out the i button over here to get more details on this there are different methods to onboard devices to mde local script is the one of the option if you want to test it for a limited number of devices etc as you can see this is allowed only for 10 devices local script you can use gpo also if, if your devices are domain joined etc etc for this particular onboarding otherwise there are other options listed down in this deployment method under onboarding tab over here. This is the detection script that Microsoft shared to check whether the onboarding has been completed successfully or not.
तो एम डी ई मैनेज डिवाइस हाउ डू यू आइडेंटिफाई दीज डिवाइस फ्रॉम इन ट्यून यू वुड बी एबल टू सी द डिवाइस आर मैनेज बाई एम डी ई इन स्टेड ऑफ इन ट्यून एंड ऑन द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव डिफेंडर पोर्टल यू वुड बी एबल टू सी द डिवाइस मैनेजमेंट मैनेज बाई एम डी ई एंड एम डी ई एनरोलमेंट स्टेटस ऑल्सो यू कैन सी ओवर हियर एज यूर एक्टिव डायरेक्टरी यू वुड बी अगेन एबल टू सी एम डी एम इज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इन ट्यून रिमेंबर दर इज नो ज्वाइन टाइप मैंशन ओवर हियर एंड इवन इट डजेंट हैव द वर्शन डिटेल एट दिस इज द प्रीव्यू वर्शन विल सी वट आर द एनहांसमेंट कमिंग इन टू जी ए वर्शन ऑफ दिस एंड दिस इज द प्लेस वेर यू कैन गो इन टू इन एम डी ई पोर्टल टू गेट द लिस्ट ऑफ पॉलिसीज फ्रॉम इन ट्यून दीज आर द पॉलिसीज आई हैव क्रिएटेड इन इन ट्यून दैट ऑटोमेटिकली गॉड अवेलेबल इन एम डी ई पोर्टल एज वेल यू कैन सी विंडोज पॉलिसीज मैक पॉलिसीज लाइन एक्स पॉलिसीज एक्सेट्रा एंड यू कैन क्रिएट न्यू पॉलिसीज इफ यू वॉन्ट फ्रॉम हियर एज वी डिस्कस इन द प्रीवियस लाइट इन सम सीनारियोज इट इज रेकमेंडेड टू क्रिएट पॉलिसीज फ्रॉम हियर हाउ टू इनेबल सिक्योरिटी सेटिंग मैनेजमेंट फ्रॉम एम डी ई पोर्टल सो यू कैन डू दैट फ्रॉम एन पॉइंट इफ यू गो टू सेटिंग एन पॉइंट क्लिक ऑन एनफोर्समेंट स्कोप एंड देन एनेबल दिस यूज एम डी ई टू एनफोर्स सिक्योरिटी कॉन्फिग्रेशन सेटिंग फ्रॉम इन ट्यून दिस अलाउ सिक्योरिटी सेटिंग इन इन ट्यून टू बी एनफोर्स बाय माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डिफेंडर फॉर एम एन पॉइंट दिस कॉन्फिग्रेशन सेटिंग विल अप्लाई टू डिवाइस दैट आर नॉट एनरोल टू इन ट्यून सो इन ट्यून एनरोल डिवाइस आर सेफ वंस यू एनेबल दिस पॉलिसी यू विल गेट lot of other configurations to enable onboarding of windows server devices linux devices etc etc so how do you manually or quickly sync the policies from mde portal if you go to device record in mde portal go to security policies and click on this three dots over here and there's a last option that is policy sync default sync schedule is 90 minutes but if you click on this one policy sync if you manually initiate the policy Sync for MDE managed devices, then it will get the latest policies within 10 minutes. So this is the demo part over here. You would be able to see endpoint security policies under endpoint configuration management, and you can create new policies, etc. We will cover how to create new policies in a different video. You can create policies for Mac, Linux, etc., etc. And if I go to another tab, you can see the how to enable security settings MDE management for devices. So click on on button over here. then if you scroll down you would be able to see you can enable it for windows client devices on board all the devices if you want or you can use a tag mechanism to do this and then if you want you can enable for windows servers etc even linux devices etc so let's enable it for windows client and windows servers for now and there are other options also i will enable this also configuration manager is recognized as single security management authority defender will not be managed the settings machines are already managed. managed by configuration manager okay this is also good setting if your devices are managed by sscm then you can use this settings to keep that way and don't create any conflicting issues so if you enable this what does that mean configuration manager aka sscm will continue to manage those devices the policies deployed from mde won't get enforced for those devices click on save to continue so i have saved it and you can see over here preferences were saved now if i go to onboarding scenario as i explained there are different ways to onboard devices we are not going to use intune or sscm for this scenario because this is mde managed devices login script or local script is one of the option and then vdi onboarding scripts for non persistent devices and if i scroll down you would be able to see download onboarding package etc etc and you will get the powershell script so from where you can get this onboarding device management under settings endpoint settings and then endpoint then you will get on board now that you have seen all the details about the two topics which we discussed at the starting of this video mde onboarding enhancements by removing azure ad join or hybrid azure ad join requirement a big thumbs up for that because that will unlock lot of opportunities for mde migration in many organizations and the second is mde managed devices you don't need to enroll into intune to manage the security settings policies on mde managed devices so exciting times are ahead hope this was helpful thank you all for watching see you around